Fiona O'Loughlin. the Melbourne Comedy Festival. I did something different this year. I drove here. True story, I drove here all the way from Alice Springs. I drove to the Melbourne Comedy Festival with all the kids. Uh, I know what a nightmare. I hate long, you know, car, long trips with kids, you know, but this year has been a whole lot better because I invested recently in an iPod and a ute. And... Uh, <laughs> To. I had to bring them because last year, honestly, I came back from the Melbourne Comedy Festival. I left them for a month, right? And I came back, and like, they can keep themselves alive and keep themselves fed, but the house, oh my God, it was the biggest mess I've ever seen. I walked in and I nearly, well, my heart was broken. It looked like someone had picked up the house. <laughs> and put it back again. And I was furious, but then I thought, well, I can't take it out on them. I'm their mother and I left them for a month. So I thought, oh, I'll just run a bath, you know, and get in the bath and try and calm down. So I ran a hot bath and I, I was, this is the lowest point of my comedy tr career. I walked into the bathroom and I slipped on a lamington. <laughs> LAUGHTER I nearly lost my mind. Like, uh, it begs the question, A, what manner of piglet eats a lamington in the bathroom? <laughs> and more importantly, who thinks, oh, that's enough of my lamington now, I'll just put it here on the floor. <laughs> and it wasn't a good lamington like our grandmas used to make, it was one of those twinky things from America with cream right in the middle, it gives you really good skin up. <laughs> So I was very upset and I, I was furious, right? And I, I'm just too old to be naked and slipping on lamingtons. <laughs> I was just awful. I went through the house like, like a maniac, steam coming out of my ears, looking for small prey, right? <laughs> And meanwhile, we, we were having the house renovated at the same time, so half the house had been knocked off, right? And I'm going, look, and fortunately I found a 10-year-old, right? And, <laughs> And I grabbed him and I went, go and clean your room. And he looked at me and he goes, I haven't got a room. <laughs> They've got an answer for everything, haven't they? I'm not a very nice person. I never said I was, Melbourne. Uh, but I'm also not a very nice, a spectacularly bad wife, really. Not a very nice wife at all. Um, and when I say I'm not a very nice wife or good wife, let's say I'm not a good wife, you, let's put it on a scale of wives, you know, the really good wives up here and then I'd be somewhere down. Look, I think up here the best wife in the history of wives would be um, Christopher Reeve's wife. A wife and a half was Christopher Reeve's wife, right? Now, me, somewhere more down here, because I swear, if my husband, if my husband had one leg in a plaster cast from the knee down, I'd have a quiet word with his surgeon and <laughs> I'd say, let him go. <laughs> It's what he would have wanted. <laughs> <laughs> to die with dignity. Thank you very much, Melbourne. Have a great festival. Good night.